Hey guys, guess what? I guess all those modules sold out. Okay, so the ones that sold out were the ones that were just modules, right? But here are the other two kind that we have. We have modules that come in a box, but they do not have, uh, well, they don't seem to have internals. They don't have uh, terminals and probably they don't have terminals. Yeah, and it seems like they don't have a plug in here. So they don't have any electronics inside, right? Um, so that's one of our, and then we have the modules that are coming inside a box and they have the terminals and they have the BMS board that then has the uh, CAN messaging thing, you know, port in here, right? So today what we're gonna look at is gonna be these ones. The ones that uh, seem to not have, have batteries inside, but they don't have electronics in there. So we're gonna see what it takes to get inside and use them. Okay, so the first things we need to know is if the cells have voltage. So the quickest way to do that is, well, by checking. And we know by other modules that we've taken apart that the terminals, the module terminals are right underneath the uh, the signals right here, the, the signs, the plus and negative signs, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a drill bit and we're gonna drill right there and then drill right there and then, then we can use our multimeter. Okay. Now there are the holes, now we can stick probes in there. Okay, so here we go, we test them, nothing. We get like zero, almost like if those things are not plugged into the batteries. So. I know what I said, it's not even worth taking this apart, but I do have a theory. I think these ones here are the ones, uh, are the modules that are have not been spot welded. So the cells inside are stuck in the modules here, but they didn't bother to spot weld these. What it looks like is like these ones, they were testing their equipment and how to assemble these modules, right? And before they can get the spot welder maybe dialed in or whatever, they want to start checking how to, how to, I think this is a sonically welded uh, case. So, so they use this machine that vibrates and then it melts the two plastics together. And so that needs to be dialed in. And so they thought, well, get me some modules and then put them inside the battery boxes and then they put them in there and checked it. If that's the case, uh, if that's, you know, my theory is correct, once I take this apart, I'm just gonna cut this, take it apart, and then we'll see if the modules inside have the batteries that are not welded. Let's do it. All right, so what I have to do here is I have to cut this edge right here, and I, as you can see, I've already started, but I'm just going to use a, uh, a chisel, you know, it's like a sharp, uh wood chisel and then i just put it here and whack it with a hammer and then uh, that's how i'm gonna cut that bam righty and there it is i just brought up the thing oh look at that it, it even has the broken thing here so yeah these are test units and they are not spot welded well actually that one is but the rest of them aren't look see they all don't have that little thing let me just get a little yeah you see here you can lift them up and that's why we get zero volts at the thing because these basically are not connected to the cells. So removing this should be pretty simple. You should just be able to take it off because it's not attached to cells. And there's no, as far as I can tell, there is no connection between the top and the bottom. So there's not like fasteners or anything like that. So really what the only thing that holds these is just the pressure from the cells and then eventually with a spot weld so this will hold the plastic from coming out but because these are not attached to the cells this should come off i don't want to take it off because then i have a bunch of loose cells and i don't want to have a bunch of loose cells 
uh, I let you guys do that and then you guys can process them and rearrange them however you want. So that's what it is. All of these modules here that uh, don't have any of this stuff basically are not welded inside. Maybe some of them will be, right? Uh, I can't guarantee that they're all like that, but you know, this, these are what we're finding out, right? We're taking a couple of these apart and then we're seeing that. So there you go. Uh, every, every one of those cells that we tested that have been disconnected, they, they are somewhere around 3.5 volts which is nominal, usually that's what they ship from the factory. So these are brand new cells, have zero cycles. They used them to test us equipment uh, and, and they ended up being here, right? So we're gonna put those as uh, not spot welded. There's, I'm gonna add about another 60 of these modules in there. Now I will put a note in there that you will have to take the box apart yourself. So you'll have to cut it just like I did here. It's probably easier if you use like a little Dremel uh, you could even use, like if you have some kind of like, uh, like a heated blade or something, this plastic melts really easily. I've tried that with my soldering iron. I put one of those little things and that's how I took that other part of the other one. So um, I guess we could take these apart for you, but we don't have to charge you more because well, I'd have to spend time. I have to pay my guy to do it, right? But I think most of you guys will take this uh, deal and we'll just, but at the rate these are selling out, um, you guys find a good value in these cells. These are premium cells. You probably paid five to five dollars for these uh, anywhere else, right? In here, just because they're like that, um, you're selling for like I don't know, like three dollars a cell or something, or two ninety nine, two eight, two dollars and eighty nine cents per cell. You'll have to do a little bit of work, but you saw me. It really took me three minutes to take this apart. I just a few wax with the thing. Uh, if you have a little Dremel, you can just cut it up. You just have to be careful and not cut into the thing. Even if you cut into the thing, the cells are not connected. So you, it's almost impossible for you to short this, right? So there you go, uh, jack35.com. I will put uh, the stock of these ones that I have there and then we'll deal with the other ones uh, it's early next week, all right? So have a good weekend. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.